Hi, it's Robin Sharma, author of The 5 AM Club, and I'm truly grateful you're here with me in this episode of The Mastery Sessions. This one is called The Best Life Lesson My Father Taught Me. Well, we all have heroes in our lives. Um, yours might be could be sports heroes, it could be your family member. Sometimes I hear, oh, it was my grandmother. Sometimes it's people you don't know. It could be an Elon Musk, a Richard Branson, it could be an Oprah Winfrey or a Michelle Obama. It could be a Tim Cook or a Steve Jobs or a Rembrandt or a Monet. I don't know who your heroes are. One thing I've been very blessed with, I've had some amazing mentors along the way. And at the very top of the people who have shaped my mindset, my heart set, my soul set, my perception of leadership and life is my dad. So my dad was a family doctor. My dad grew up in the north of India. Uh, he comes from very humble beginnings, just a brilliant man. And uh, he went to medical school in Agra, which is the city where the Taj Mahal is. And he emigrated to North America when he was a young man. And for 54 years, he was a family doctor. He started off in a very small town on the east coast of Canada. And I can tell you, he is a man who worked with great love. It was never for the applause and the, the fortune or anything like that. It was always about helpfulness to as many people as possible. So I've learned so much from my dad. He's been a great mentor. He's always filled our home when I was growing up. He filled it with books. He's very much a philosopher more than a doctor in many ways. He's a deep thinker. He's someone who is in many ways a heavyweight in terms of his intellect. And I just learned so much over so many years from, from my father. Even when I started out, when I left being a litigation lawyer and I started writing books, I still remember one morning at 4 a.m. he drove me to a 24-hour copy shop and he waited outside in the darkness while I worked on this book. It was a manuscript that turned out to be my first book and he was a great encourager. Well, a few weeks ago, my dad and I had dinner. Uh, it was just a wonderful father and son evening. We ate some uh, fantastic Persian food. We chatted in my kitchen. We laughed. We had a great conversation. And then we watched the movie Lion. I don't know if you've seen the movie Lion. It's just a beautiful, beautiful movie. And after the conversation and after watching the movie, before my dad left, we talked for about five minutes before he left our home. And he said, you know, Robin, what's most important, you know, is always to be helpful. And he said, Robin, always help the people most in need. And he said, Robin, life is really, really short. And nothing matters as much as how you treat people who need your help. When I was growing up, my dad used to share the words of Rabindranath Tagore, the Bengali poet, and I never forget them. And my dad used to say, Robin, when you were born, you cried while the world rejoiced. He said, son, live your life in such a way that when you die, the world cries while you rejoice. And so the best lesson I've learned from my father, not only by what he said, but by how he lived, because leading by example is the number one way to shape other people's behavior. The number one life lesson is to be of use, to be of helpfulness, to be of service. I think true leadership is not about me, it's about we. I think true impact is not about selfishness and what you can get from the world, it's what you can give to the world. May you, may I, may we never forget the shortness of life. I think one of the things and one of the traps we fall into is we postpone living and we forget about what's most important and we don't bring into sharp focus the things that will be most important on the last hour for our last day. And so we become these digital addicts and we become these cyber zombies and we become these sheeple versus people building our lives around the high priorities that will truly matter when we're at our very end. And what makes real leadership and what makes real elite performance is being monomaniacally focused on the truth and keeping front and center 
what you want to stand for, how you want to be remembered, shifting from chasing success to embracing significance. And my dad, and I look, I'm not always monomaniacally focused on what's most important. Sometimes I fall into being busy, being busy. Sometimes when I get very tired, I will do things that get me caught up in the administrivia of every day. But the key thing is you always want to be coming back to what's most important. And my dad taught me the biggest lesson from him, which is it's all about helpfulness. And that's my great wish for you. So I want to thank you so much for being here with me in this mastery session. I take so much time to handcraft them so that you receive great value and inspiration and encouragement and even love. If you'd like to go deeper with me and you've liked what you've learned in this episode, here's what you want to do. Number one, read my latest book, The 5 AM Club. I wrote it so it's a manifesto for your mastery. And it's currently one of the best selling books in the world right now for a reason. It truly works. It truly helps you upgrade your creativity, your productivity, your performance, your prosperity, and your overall life. Now, of course, the book isn't going to work and all the models I share in it and the tactics and all of the different letters and all the different modules, none of that is going to work for someone who's not going to do any work. So only read the 5 a.m. club if you're ready to transform and you're willing to do some work for your greatest life. Second thing, people for years have been asking me, Robin, would you do some kind of an online mentoring system to teach us all the things we learn in the mastery sessions and in all of your books? You know, we're not a billionaire, so we might not have the budget to have you one-on-one -on -one coach us, but is there some way we can receive some digital coaching that will help us upgrade our productivity, upgrade our creativity, optimize our four interior empires of mindset, heart set, health set, and soul set, some kind of coaching that will help us grow our careers, lead our fields, dominate our domains, and also live a beautiful, soulful life that will fill us with happiness and joy at the end. And so the answer is yes. It's called the Circle of Legends, and it's one of the best things that I do. The Circle of Legends is my world-class mentoring program where I teach you the same information, the same models and frameworks and daily tactics that I teach to the billionaires, the NBA stars, the titans of industry, the leaders in sciences and arts. You get to learn this advanced information that so few people learn in the Circle of Legends. If you're really ready to start playing at heroic right now and maximize your performance and optimize the way you live out the rest of your life, so you not only live a beautiful life, but you make your mark on the world, then I'd love to help you. Head over to thecircleoflegends.com, thecircleoflegends.com, and claim your membership so we start our work together today. And finally, if you found value in this mastery session, here's what I would so appreciate you doing. Within 24 hours, please share this episode with three of your friends so together we build more leaders, we inspire more people, and we make our planet and world a better place. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next episode. Hi, this is Robin Sharma. I invite you to subscribe to this podcast and definitely go over to robinsharma.com for more information, tools, and resources on mastery, elite performance, and living a world-class life.